This is a priority message to all Sigma Team operatives. Assassins have stolen an artifact from a Rotterdam storage facility. Rally point is at 51.887107 by 4.559017. Be there at 0600 local time. Stragglers will be put to death, so move it. Listen up, losers. There are two confirmed assassins operating in the city. Target number one is Harlan Cunningham, the only survivor of a cell in Florence that our fearless leader eradicated a couple of years back. He stole the precursor box and is on the run. Target number two has been identified as Aaron Shute, former MMA champion, and now Cunningham's disciple and lover. How romantic. He's running interference, murdering our Templar agents embedded in Abstergo facilities throughout the city. Sarkin, take Sigma team and go after Shoot. I will take down Cunningham myself and recover the artifact. I don't like the idea of you going alone, boss. I want to deal with him personally. Sigma team, maintain contact with Violet at all times. You have your orders. Sorkin, you dipshit! Don't engage him hand to hand! Pull your men back! Um, get some! He's got my gun! Sniper one, do you have a shot? Negative. He's using Sorkin as a shield. He's tearing us apart! Take the shot! I hit Sorkin. He dropped a smoke bomb. I've lost visual. He's... He's gone. That's our cue. Pick up your sorry asses and get to the extraction point. Double time. Just... Just fucking kill me already. I had a dream about you. Ah, oh, that's sweet. But I'm with someone. In my dream, you never made it out of Florence alive. What can I say? I'm too stubborn to die. Hello, lover. Hercule! We can't leave the box behind. Fuck that! I killed half the Sigma team. Let's quit while we're ahead. See you in your dreams, Berg. <sighs> what a shit show. Compile the relevant parts of our audio logs and send them to Letitia England. Tell her this is exactly why she should be letting us hunt assassins. The box is live. Sorkin's picking off the stragglers as they escape. Good. Proceed to stage two. All points, the word is given. Stage two is a go. I repeat, stage two is a go. Get those doors down. Three, two. Adriano Maestranzi. I have come for you. What's he holding? Vittoria Agri Assassini. Bomb! Sigma team? Anyone, do you copy?
details of Harlan T. Cunningham's life were difficult to acquire, as many traces of his identity before becoming an assassin were altered or erased by Gavin Banks. It is only thanks to Agent Acosta's remarkable skills that we are able to piece together this profile. Cunningham was outed as homosexual in high school, which unfortunately ruined a promising wrestling career. He left Texas as quickly as he could, and fled to Europe. Cunningham was recruited by the Brotherhood in Florence, Italy, under the leadership of assassin veteran Adriano Maestranzi. Sigma team attacked the Florence hideout in 2012, but Maestranzi detonated a bomb. Three assassins were killed before the explosion, but Sigma team was annihilated in the process. Cunningham and I were the only survivors. Cunningham was last sighted in Rotterdam, alongside Aaron Schutt, a former mixed martial arts champion who also suffered a career backlash when he came out as homosexual. It is clear that Cunningham is mentoring Schutt in the ways of the Brotherhood. Although physically gifted and extremely dangerous, Schutt is a poor choice as an assassin. He is incapable of keeping a low profile and will compromise the Brotherhood despite himself. Recently, Cunningham stole a piece of Eden from an Abstergo facility in Rotterdam. During the operation, Shoot was charged to attack Abstergo employees throughout the city to draw attention away from his mentor. Although Sigma T managed to reclaim the item, both Cunningham and Shoot escaped. I will not allow Cunningham to get away from me a third time. Field Report, Phoenix Project, November 1st, 2013. 
Agent DaCosta alerted me to a possible lead on the Koh Inor diamond. A replica can be found among the crown jewels of England. However, the true diamond is a powerful piece of Eden and has been lost for centuries. Jot Sura is a programmer at Mysore Tech, a company working with Abstergo Entertainment to release a variant of the Animus headset to Asia called the Brahmin device. He's been associating with Shivam Dami, the sister of Jadseep Dami, a known assassin. Could the Brotherhood be using the Brahmin device to locate the Kohinoor? Until we have more evidence, I have decided to use a local Abstergo strike force rather than mobilize Sigma team. Update, November 3rd, 2013. Jotsura was abducted outside of Dreamland Studios in Mumbai. He was seen being forced into a van by Shivan and Jadsi Dami. This confirms my suspicions. The assassins must be using Jotsura's genetic memories to locate the Kohinoor. I have authorized the local Abstergo soldiers to engage and eliminate the assassins, with instructions that the Brahmin device must be kept intact. I am en route to India. Update, November 4th, 2013. I arrived in India too late. Our strike team engaged the assassins in two separate conflicts. The body of Shivan Dami was found at the first sight, but her remains were too badly damaged in an explosion to collect any genetic information. I found the Brahmin device at the second site, but after reviewing the genetic memories recorded within, I am relieved to find that Jotsura's bloodline was a dead end. The real Kohinoor diamond remains lost to both sides. Jatsib Dami escaped, which means we must monitor this new assassin activity in India closely. I am closing this file and proceeding to my next mission.
speak. Why has Violet DaCosta been removed from Sigma Team? I'm reassigning our assets as I see fit to align with the goals of the Phoenix Project. The Phoenix Project? Sigma Team would be of more use hunting down the remaining assassins. Let Delta Team hunt Precursor Relics instead. Those relics are the key to sequencing First Civilization DNA. Accomplishing that goal will in turn make the assassins even less of a threat than they are now. Be that as it may, Agent Acosta should not be wasted on something like Abstergo Entertainment. Last year's fiasco with the Sample 17 project showed me that Abstergo Entertainment is more than just a disposable subsidiary. It's the best resource we have to finding new pieces of Eden. It is a weak link that has been compromised by our enemies time and time again. All the more reason to have to cause to secure their access to the cloud servers. We're confident that Melanie LeMay won't fuck it up, like Olivier Garneau. Bringing a civilian like that into our ranks is also unwise. Time will tell with Miss LeMay, but she handled the John Standish situation with an even hand. She helped us discover the existence of sages, and in doing so, has done more for Phoenix than you have, Mr. Berg. She also continues to ignore the presence of the instruments of the First Will within her operation. Those whack jobs are actually useful to us for now. They're a cheap source of relics we can exploit. If they become too much of a problem, we'll deal with them with the same efficiency we deal with the Assassins. Giving the Assassins time to regroup is a tactical mistake. We should strike them now while they are at their most vulnerable. We value your passion and expertise, Mr. Berg, and your concerns have been noted. Now pack your bags. You've got a busy year ahead of you. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. The Royal Palace at Versailles, Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, numbskull. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. That's him, Charles Dorian.
when we stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? You're the traitor. I'm just finishing old business. Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. Then perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. <laughs> Uphold the principles of our order. And all that for which we stand, never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shea Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American Right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended, and another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shea Cormac's memories has served us well. Shea's story is a message. 
One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history, and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us, and for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.